man oh man what am I gonna do with this recent curb find power force helix turbo yeah it looks pretty ripe almost look like somebody I don't know threw it in the mud used it on a construction site I mean you know who knows so right away I see a problem so the height adjustment wheels here it's got a it's got a broken tab right there that might not necessarily make it so it can't adjust the height but it might rattle or <laughs> act kind of funny I suppose these bristles seem awfully short to me oh and I'm just now trying to move this and guess what it doesn't move it literally doesn't move at all Ooh, can't wait to take this rug plate apart see what's going on Let's see here's the rest of the machine yeah looks pretty awful uh, here we go great looking cord uh, who knows what's in the hose and let's see here take this off hmm I <laughs> mean look how terrible that is obviously somebody didn't care about this machine at all jeez is that supposed to be like that is that missing something somehow it seems like there should be something else something else in there more than more than just that and uh oh now let's see the shadows are really messing up here there you go <laughs> that's just terrible what'd they do vacuum up mud yeah that's it let's get the pistol out why not uh let's see here's the bin so apologize for the weird shadows because the sun's going back and forth from going in the clouds and coming out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Oh, there we go. <laughs> What's the point? I mean, of treating your vacuum like this. See, I brought out my, my normal wash basket that I start throwing parts in. I... I don't know if I'm really going to do anything with this. I mean, we'll, we'll play with it for a little bit longer, I suppose. Jeez. I'm giving you a good look, just in case I say, nah, I don't want to mess with it. They do, at the time of making this video, still sell this model at Walmart. I looked it up probably about a half an hour ago, and I think it said 75 bucks. It's like, are, are you kidding me? Well, somebody got their use out of it, I suppose. I have a nice red dusting brush. I guess you could still use that for something. And of course, it's red instead of like white or blue or any of the other colors you could get. And uh, see, here's the adjustment. It it does actually change the height, at least with it, you know, sitting like this right now. And uh, how about? I do something where I get that that rug plate off. So let me put the camera down here. See if I can take a peek at that, because that is uh, it's not in good shape at all. Everything is pretty rusty. I'm going to guess construction site or project in somebody's home. Oh, let's see one more there. I think. And 
the now let's see is that, is that enough screws to come out I miss, did I miss one just hung up on something there There's that, such as it is, and, oh, that's interesting. All right, let's take a closer look at that. Let's see, I think I can get a little angle for you. So, trying to stay out of the, stay out of the shadows. So I'm guessing it's just, it's the brush roll is seized. So the motor, yeah, the motor turns, it does. And the brush roll literally doesn't do a thing. I mean, nothing. It's completely, utterly seized. So I'm certainly not gonna go and buy a new brush roll for this thing. I. I don't think it's really worth it, but wow, that's that's completely seized. Well, I can try off camera to see if I can get these end caps off, but this literally doesn't move at all, even uh, even applying extreme force. And you can see how far down the the bristles are worn. I mean, seriously, there's there's really not much left. Somebody was uh, overusing that, I suppose. Wow. So that's that's really what the issue is. And of course, you've got this, although I could kind of probably live without that tab in there. It would kind of work. So yeah, I think I think this is probably gonna be a, uh, let's throw it in the bin. But let me see what I can do with this off camera. I mean, let's face it, it can't get any worse, right? Be right back. Yeah, look at this end cap. That's overheated and melted a little bit. And here's here's the other one. That one's cracked. I'm not worried about the the cracked part, but it doesn't look like it's in very good shape. So I popped the end caps off, and I had to literally break them off because they they wouldn't move because of the excessive rust. And it's just you can see that there's there's just nothing left there. I mean, there's, there's no there's no real point so I'm gonna call it quits on this can't save everything that's really bad plus I mean somebody really wore these bristles down I mean that's they got their use out of it so I'm not gonna spend any money on a machine that is uh, this inexpensive okay here we go I've never turned this machine on I don't even know what position the switch is in Switch. See what happens. <laughs> That's a pretty rough sounding motor. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if anything's clogged in it or not, other than what you've seen earlier. So, let's hear it for indestructible Bissell motors. So, that motor has still got some life in it, but oh, the bearings are so bad. It's got plenty of suction, the airflow is probably eh. But bottom line is there's something there, even with all those terrible filters. But yeah, the decision's been made, so it's time to junk it. A couple of notes before we do the formal disposal. We toss everything into the trash can. Here's what the motor looked like, and yes, it still works. 
and it could be cleaned up and you could still do some stuff with it but it's just a little 8 amp motor I mean I don't have a use for this but there it is Oof, really bad obviously and I am going to keep this tube I'm gonna keep this hose I'll clean them and the aforementioned dusting brush that's in good shape and probably one of the most prized possessions you can get off of a Bissell is the little foot recline pedal so this is in mint condition so I'm gonna actually keep that little pile there but everything else yeah I'm looking around here everything else uh, gets scrapped oh I might keep a couple of screws that aren't rusty there's just a few of them in there but let's get to scrapping this Bissell away we go it so sorry Bissell fans not everything is savable thanks for watching stay tuned for more